Good evening, comrades from the All India Bank Employees Association. We are very happy to meet all of you through this uh, Facebook live program today. As all of us know, today we were to go on an All India strike on the 19th. But yesterday, late evening, there was a meeting, high level meeting, by the Chief Labor Commissioner, Ministry of Finance. IBA, all the concerned banks, etc. And an amicable understandings have been reached. And so last night we decided to defer the strike. So first of all, I would like to congratulate all of our employees, all of our members, all over the country and all the banks for their wonderful preparation for the strike. That is the main reason why the government intervened, why the IBA wanted to discuss and sort out the matter because the preparation was so effective and enthusiastic. Particularly, I would like to congratulate our young comrades. As usual, not only in the Twitter campaign, but in all the programs, they were in the forefront because uh, there are a lot of people who have not understood why we have given the call for strike and what we have achieved. There are many comments I will talk about that. But young employees particularly, they have understood the importance of jobs, job security, trade union rights, labor rights, the need for the union, collective bargaining, all these things. So that is why they were in the forefront. I'm very happy. I would like to congratulate all our people for that. First of all, why did we give the call? Because our... Uh, uh, 11 bipartite settlement is over. We are given a call for, we are given the charter of demand for the 12 bipartite. IBA is said to call us for discussion. Secondly, there are some issues. For example, the popular demand of the Friday banking. Then the retirees are all anxiously waiting about the pension updation. So, why IBA is not fighting on these matters? Something else they have given. Similarly, the government is also getting ready in the winter session towards the bank privatization bill. Some people are asking, this strike should have been for this uh, government's attempt to privatize the banks. But something else uh, like that uh, people are commenting. So we should know why we have given a call for strike. Some people are telling, because there is a problem in some banks, why all of us should go on strike? In my bank, there is no problem. There is no confrontation by our management. Why should I go on strike? Why should I lose wages? Like that, uh, there have been questions in the mind of the people. So firstly, I'm very proud that after a very long time, All India Bank Employees Association, we gave a call for this uh, All India Solidarity Strike. The solidarity means the problems faced by the employees and members in some banks the entire banking fraternity under the banner of the AIBA, we gave a call. This is the basis of the All India Bank Employees Associations, our growth, our achievements. Because in 1948, when one bank was in uh, agitation, like the Central Bank of India, our Pravatkar gave a call for uh, All India, I mean Bengal strike, and that issue was uh, uh, settled. Like that, we, we, we find that. Uh, the basis of the AIBA is this solidarity and support. Injury to one is an injury to all. Problem of one is a problem of all. One for all, all for one. This is what our leaders, Prabhakar, Parvana, all of our great leaders have taught us. And this strike is essentially to express our concern. If there is a problem for somebody, the entire AIBA membership is there. This is number one. Secondly, uh, in every bank, there will be problem. So long as management is there, they don't like unions, we know that. And so naturally, they will create problems. They will not, uh, I mean, agree with our demands. So in some bank or the other, at some time, there will be some agitation. But can it be that in every agitation of every bank, that all of us can go on strike? This is also very important to understand. We found a fleet. Because in ABA, one thing all of us know, and we should know, that the basis of the All India Bank Employees Association is our struggle for bilateralism 
our struggle for jobs and job security. These are the two outstanding uh, achievements of the All India Bank employees. No doubt there have been other achievements, bipartite, wage revision, service condition, many things. But the bipartite system is so significant achievement of the All India Bank Employees Association that we paid a heavy price. For 20 years, bank employees were fighting, AAB was fighting, only on this, I want bipartite, I want bipartite. We have seen some uh, fight and years ago, uh, some other people, we don't want bipartite, we want pay commission. We had to carry on a campaign and then uh, now most of the people have understood that's not a big demand. Other people are thinking more than bipartite pay commission is better. But the ABU knew <clears throat> for 20 years we fought from 46 to 66. And the first time in the entire country in any sector, in banking sector, the ABU got the bipartite system. That means across the table, bilaterally, both the parties, management and the union, we discuss and resolve the problem. And this we have preserved from 1966 till now. And we have signed 11 bipartite settlement. But today in the recent period, we are seeing that there is a tendency of unilateralism on the part of some of the banks. They believe that I am not bound by bipartisan. I am did not go for bilateral discussion. I will decide and unilaterally I will implement. This is very dangerous, number one. Second, some of the bank management started violating the bipartite. They are party to the bipartite. But they feel that if I want, I can, I am at free will to violate the bipartite settlement. This is another danger that we have seen in the recent period. Third, in addition to our bipartite, we are also having the protection of the Industrial Dispute Act and the Trade Union Act and such similar labor laws in our country for which 100 years the working class, the trade unions, the workers have fought and we are having such protection. And under the Indian uh, um, Trade Union Act and the Industrial Dispute Act, there are some provisions. Uh, but now the managements are thinking, I am not bound. We are in a democratic country. The ID Act is an act of the parliament. The Trade Union Act is an act of the parliament. But if the bank's managements will not care for these labor laws, then where do we go? What can we do? So that is another one. Similarly, trade unions are democratic organizations elected by the people, for the people, to the people. So we elect our leaders. Some of the managements are telling, you might, have, you might have elected your people, but I don't want to talk to them because according to me, uh, he does not deserve uh, to be negotiated with. He is not in the service or some other reason. So that means the management will decide with whom they will talk. That day, I was asking the Indian Bank Association, if your management want the right to decide with whom he will talk, give me the same right. I will decide who will be the management with whom I have to talk. Management team is decided by the management. Union team will be decided by the union. But still, uh, they are violating that. Similarly, we have under the Industrial Dispute Act and Trade Union Act protected workmen, our active cadres, our leaders, our office bearers. There is a law that once we notify to the management that these are the leaders who are to be treated as protected workmen. And for the protected workmen, the management cannot take any action on them except with the permission of the labor authorities. Maybe regional labor commissioner, maybe uh, deputy labor commissioner, whatever it may be, on their own they cannot take action. But here we are finding that even this is uh, being uh, diluted, even for protected workmen, they are directly taking action to victimize. And another one, in addition to bipartite, in addition to labor laws, we also find that we have uh, the courts, the local courts, the high courts, the supreme court. They give some verdict in favor of the employees, yeah, but some of the management say that I, I don't care. So if the bank will say, I don't care for bipartite, I don't care for labor laws, I don't care for Supreme Court, it's very dangerous. 